What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists and welcome to On The Bench with Pete the series you put on in the background whilst you hobby or paint along with me. It's that simple. Grab your glues, brushes, models, whatever else you need. I'm still working on my Ultimate Badasses. That's what they are. They're from the expansion set Ultimate Badasses from the Aliens universe. Yeah, let, let's do this thing. I've, I might have a couple more highlights, just really, really fine ones to add to this. But other than that, they're essentially done. They're just awaiting varnishing. And then I can move on to another project. Mm. Mm. Anyway, guys, let's get to the bench. So make sure you've got everything you need. I've got coffee in my awesome R2D2 mug. And I'll see you there. Okay, here we are with Drake. We're starting with Drake. No, we're starting with him because I, I feel I need to do a couple more highlights on him. Now, he's got what I think is a Thunderhawk Blue cap. I think it's Thunderhawk Blue. But anyway, I'm looking for a lighter. A lighter blue that I can use. Blue Horror might be quite good. It's, well, not far from Ethereum Blue. Oh, that's an edge paint, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. And I'm going to put a ball bearing in it, actually. So I don't get to use it often enough. I've got some ball bearings I can use. This is what they're for. If I can just drop it in there, which I have done. Now this is an edge paint. Yet it seems remarkably thick. <laughs> I might add a little bit of... Actually, I might do some Thunderhawk Blue. With a touch of Ethereum... No, Ethereum Blue, blue Horror in with it. So that's essentially what I'm going to mix together going to try a one-to-one -one ratio of this now starting out with a blob of Thunderhawk blue and I do need to grab myself some paper towel because it's going to be used right So, watch off that Thunderhawk blue. Okay, now a blob of blue horror and some water. Yeah, I like that. That will work for me. That will work for me. Right, so now detail brush and I want I just want to pop some of this on the top and the bottom here. Oh man, oh man, oh man. So it's on the bench time. It's time to relax, time to chill, time to time to put on another light. It's time to get these marines up to spec. Man, I did my course today. I did a load of it today. <laughs> It's hard going, the one I'm doing, Outlook. I'm finding it hard going. Still pushing on with it, but I am, I'll be lying if I said I wasn't uh, finding it hard. Not that it's particularly difficult. It's just, it's a bit of a slog. I don't know, I can't describe it any other way, really. Yeah, I don't know, how, don't know how else to describe it. Right, I'm just uh, 
adding a highlight on the front of his cap here. Do the sides too. There we go. And I think, although I've used a lot of paint there <laughs> to get that one effect, I'm happy with that. I am actually happy with that. Yes, I am. I'm uh, considering a grey or a lighter grey uh, for highlighting this smart gun. If I look into my greys, I've got what I've got. I've got cold grey, which I think could be used for this. So I'm just uh, shaking this up. with that for sure it's this cold grey I'm currently mixing it on the palette yeah I think that's good I've got some uh, exciting stuff I want to carry on with a little bit of um, my dragon later as well so I might be able to get to that who knows That would be that would be awesomeness. Right. Just using the edge of my brush to do this. Top of the barrel, yeah. All right, so I think he is good to go. I would say just doing the edges of some small packs on his back, but a small pack on his back right there. We go. I think he's ready. He's ready for varnish. Pop him at the back. Who's up next? Crow. Now. Yeah, he can also be. Don't think there's much we need to really do with him. To be truthful. Yeah, I'd say he was done. Okay, that's good. Next is Wisebowski. Wisebowski. I'm not even sure how you pronounce it. Just a couple of little highlights here and there. Right, who's up next? Dietrich. Dietrich. Do remember Dietrich. She was the one who um, 
Okay, if you need to quit once over, or you know, like a basic medical. I said she was malnutrition, but otherwise okay. Borderline malnutrition, I think she said. That's how she put it. Sergeant Ape Home. I need to do some Abaddon Black in a couple of areas on a couple of these for the handles of their guns. So I take it back, Drake is not done. But Carter J, he's got nothing on him, so no, he doesn't need anything. But Carter J is ready. But the only one I can say for sure is. Now I'm gonna change. I'm not gonna use Abaddon Black for the black. Nah, changing it up a little. I'm gonna use uh, Dead Black. Dead Black. An old zombicide paint. I had an old zombicide paint set, which you know, very good value for money because all these years later I still have them. Don't think I've used any of them up completely, which is great, you know. Water, I'm just mixing water with it. Hmm, now, this is where we go in to do handles of pistols and things like that. Now, I was also going to do his little binoculars uh, black, wasn't I? So, that's what we'll do. We'll do them too. Right, okay. I haven't looked at their stats, actually, the, the ones. Well, I'll look at them. Um, Drake, the ones from the Ultimate Badass, is I was just comparing Drake to Vasquez. It's almost identical, I say almost. There are differences, but. You want your smart gun specialist. Either Drake or Vasquez will do you equally well, I would say. Okay, so that's Sergeant Apon. He is. I'm saying now done. Yeah, she's definitely done now. Buck, a poem. Die trick, just got to do the handle of her pistol. I don't know why, but I have the urge to paint Dark Angels. <laughs> Might have a couple floating around. Actually, his bag, or her bag, needs changing. So we got to do her bag yet. Before I can say, yeah, she's ready for varnish. She's not ready yet. Um, 
saying no to that. Not, not, not ready. Just move the camera around a bit. So the bag got to be done. Um, yeah, that pouch thing in my jig. He's doing then, I think. We also done. Oh, he's got pouches. He's got two pouches. Darn it! But that's okay. We're not gonna let this phase us. Not gonna let that phase us. Okay. So so far, Apone and Burke are the only ones <coughs> that are actually, I'm saying okay, ready for takeoff, as it were. <coughs> he's got, he's got stuff to do as well. All right, we are now. <clears throat> Drake's belt. Yeah, so we got got more work to do on these four. Right, so we're looking for a paint. I can paint pouch. My coffee will be way too hot at this stage. That's okay. Just check my messages. Um, right. <clears throat> That's just my mate texting me. So, looking to my browns, what do I see? There are, I mean, the thing is with browns, there's, there's a lot of them, isn't there? You've got ochre. I think there might be two. Like, Deathclaw brown. Deathclaw brown, I think, might be a good one. Gonna use that. Ooh. You're just gonna try and get a chunk of paint out of my lid of my death crawl brown. Hmm. Stuck in there real good. Trouble is it stops the, the lid from closing properly. So whenever I come across them I do try to free them up a bit. Get a chunk of that paint out. Right, Death Club Brown, he's coming, he's coming with a vengeance. There. And the lid's shut surprisingly well. Bit of water. Okay. 
still with Drake. So we're still making this pouch. This colour for him first. It's it's a little bit darker than towel like ochre, but uh, yeah, it's enough to break up what the eye sees. I think it could be uh, cases for spare ammunition magazines or something like that. Of course, in the movie it was Vasquez, you had the extra ammunition, wasn't it? Right on, Vas. Yeah. Alright. Calling him done. Um, you know, you can't forget he is, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a board game. And, yeah, you can go quite far with it, but like, don't have that. I don't have the desire to go award-winning with these. Just, just enough to make them visually appealing, you know. Now you got one on the other side too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say for the record, these are magazine uh, cases. Put their spare magazines in. That, that's what I'm calling it. Indeed. Oh, he's got two pouches too. It's another nice day here in Plymouth. Well, it's freezing cold, but it's it's a nice bright day, which is good. Still tells me summer is on the way. Spring is on the way, summer is on the way. The sun is on the way. You know it. There we go. And the sort of side bag she's got, which I think We'll make her medical pack. I'm going to put a red cross on the side of this. Or a white cross. Yeah, a white cross, I think. Yeah. There we go. No, she's not ready yet. Gonna have the white cross. I, I think it's a white cross that I'm gonna put on her her bag. Or oh, I could put a green cross on it or a black cross. Oh, I think a white cross though. Oh, sugar top of the bag, other side of her arm, it's right there. Yeah, it's going to be a medical bag, a kit bag, whatever you call it. I'll put more Van Brown away, Death Claw Brown. Evil Sun Sky, I'll just keep that to one side. 
I got my heater on. It's so cold out here, though. I might, I might be brave and attempt some coffee in a minute. Brave because it's going to be red hot, red, red hot, hot. Oh, I'm going to be ready to start some varnishing scene with these guys. In the meantime. Not sure if I want to go white. Maybe an off white, off and grey. Yeah, I'll find grey. Oh, I got the yawns. God. I'll be glad when my outlet course is over, I can tell you. PowerPoint next for me, I think. Might even go where the white highlights. Let's see how we do this. Yeah. That'll do for me. That will do nicely, Tommy. Chuck that towel away. Right, once that's dry, actually, if we leave her last, and we varnish these in a kind of order, we'll be good to go. Matte acrylic varnish. We'll use this uh, crappy Citadel base brush to do the varnishing with. The, the brushes are pants, I think. I mean, the, uh, I say, the dry brushes are alright. The bigger brushes. Oh, their old brushes were better, I feel. Didn't splay out so much. Anyways, can't bring them back. Okay, Burke Carter J. It's time for your varnish. And although he's not holding his pose, he's not holding a gun or anything like that. I mean, you can, of course, equip it to him. That's back done. You can now go at the back. Where's Bowski? Is next. Do you know what I'm thinking though they could do with a wash on them? Yeah. How sad is that? I want to wash the pouches. Just do. So before I go on to Before I want to do their uh, varnishing, we need to do this. Didn't need it on Burke because he doesn't have a pouch. Let's just zoom out a little bit here. There we go.
aware of that but it does mean I've got to wait a little while for the varnish to dry for the varnish the shade wash to dry there's not a lot of it but it's a bit of a pain I can do the bases It's better I've got way too much uh, varnish on here, but I don't care, I'll just pop it back in the uh, pot at the end. Yeah, some of these are done. <coughs> I've got to look into getting myself another really useful box. That's those plastic boxes, like the one I keep my Resident Evil 2 board game in. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm thinking I need one for aliens. The glorious day in the court. Of course, if I can fit it all in the actual, in the normal box it comes in, then I will. Crow. He's just another standalone guy, any crow. I mean, you know, I've not, I don't have any recollection of him. I don't know. How good is he? he could be useful for other campaigns. I'm, I'm wondering how and really hoping that they do other uh, expansions. For aliens, another glorious day in the core. It'd be fantastic if they did. Gelf was not really outdid themselves with this game. It's really, really good. Really tension high. Tension's almost as high as the role playing game, although not quite as high because all right, it's bound to be higher in a role playing game, isn't it? But um, by its very nature. But my goodness, what a great job they did of, of uh, capturing that feeling of terror. Two more to go. I think Revy McRevison's at it again. So I've got my heater on. The heat, it is kicking out the heat and it's lovely. May have to turn it off in a moment. Just to rest really. <laughs> cool down a bit. Yeah. Ah, this is good. This is good. This is therapeutic. I've, well, I've uploaded at, at this point in time. I've uploaded... Well, it was only today that I managed to do it. I upload my mission one of Aliens. A glorious day in the core. So, you can see how I did in that. But the scope it had at the afters was for the, for the re rescue mission, which is just awesome. Feeling the rescue mission's all well and good, but after the rescue mission, we'll probably need a supply run. Supply mission, and yeah. Right. And that is them all done. Ultimate badass is done. I feel pretty chuffed with that. 
did say I had some work to do on my dragon and it's true and so I'm going to do that I'll do that here I think I've got time I will double check I think I do have so what time do I have 39 minutes in yes I've got time I'll just put my old fine grey away Found the Hulk blue. Let's put that away in my blue horror. Um, right. So let's zoom out. I got some. Uh, I'm in the middle of doing something on him. Doing his claws. I've just started these claws. So at the moment, I'm just starting out with a base coat of Rhinox hide, but I want all the clawed areas to be the same. <sighs> For consistency. Yeah, you know what I mean. And also, I'm thinking this sort of fin. Initially, I wanted this like fin going down his back to be the same as these and these. But I've, I, I, I want a slightly more yellowish feel to that. So, you know, I'll come back to that. But, uh, yeah. So, looking for my side. I've got it. So, looking at this awesome, awesome model that my good friend Mephos got me for Christmas. Thank you, Mr. Mephos. I'm just going to do another stage to my claws. This is just a base coat I'm putting on here for these, you understand. So at the moment, when you're putting like these base colours on, it looks a bit simplified and, you know, no, and I'm aware of that, but uh, I have in mind a bigger picture. I don't know how well you can see it, especially from your distance. gold that's on his um, scales but when he's finished and I'll come in we'll do a proper showcase of him then we'll see if we can see if we can get those showing up properly I mean I can see them just fine Can't always see them on on camera. Always wanted a dragon. I mean, why wouldn't you, right? Dungeons and Dragons. That, that's how I started. Don't forget. So 
the dragon was the ultimate, the ultimate foe. <laughs> of course there are good dragons too, it's just uh, you don't normally go out in your party with a dragon in it, do you? <laughs> but yeah, sorry for the silence, I might turn my heater off. The heat is lulling me a bit. Soothing me. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah. I knew this would take longer than it first appeared. <laughs> so what are you guys working on at the moment? Let me know. And how's it going? I'm having some strange dreams lately. I, I'm not normally one for dreaming like that, but... Uh, well, you know, remembering my dreams anyway, because I say you dream every night, but uh, when I say that, I mean, you know, re actually remembering the dream. But I'm having some strange ones, though. I dreamt I went to Mars the other night with my dad. He's been dead for many, many years. So it was very, very bizarre. Very bizarre indeed. Yeah, there's a shopping mall on there as <laughs> on Mars, yeah. Shopping mall on Mars and I said, I turned to my dad and said, I knew there was life here. Who knows, in the future there may well be a shopping mall on Mars. been thinking a lot about uh, painting challenges lately too especially after watching the uh, the war boss Tay painting challenge and you know people entering that I just I I wish I was able to do something like that. I mean I, I know there's nothing stopping me I just don't think I'd have the uh, motivation to be able to like upload a video every day and do a bit of painting every day I just don't think I could do it but definitely been thinking about uh, painting challenges of late maybe even setting one up
remember I did, I set up the uh, an October challenge years ago, which was uh, quite popular it seemed. <laughs> a lot of people paint orcs in October, don't they? Call it October. I think it's nice to it's cool play on words. I think it's good. Right. Looking good. Looking good. What time are we on here? 52. Wow. I better stop this here. I've got a lot more to do. Much more than I can do in this episode. And that's just on this layer. So I'm going to stop it there. Well, I thank you guys for joining me on this episode hmm we'll get that coffee going sorry there's been quite a bit of silence on here I, I just um, had a lot of uh, concentration to be doing and a lot more to come yet oh, you know it's colder already I've got to put my heat on again yeah so yeah so I, as I say his his cent central fins I'm, I'm thinking I'd quite like them some sort of yellowy colour uh, it's like a desert yellow almost with a touch of demonic yellow in it maybe yeah we'll see we'll see can't have it bright yellow that would just be ridiculous <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to get his claws all done first. That's going to take a long time. And that's fine. We're in no rush here. I've got to do the other layers of his spines as well. and All sorts of good things. All sorts of good things. Yeah, so thank you very much for joining on this episode. Yeah, like I say, once again, let me know what you're working on. And hit me up in the comments below with what it is you are painting or building or whatever it is and uh, I'll see you on the next video just remember all brushes lead to war please like share subscribe and all that really cool fun stuff that we do check out my patreon if you want and yeah I will see you on the next video so bye for now bye bye <laughs>